What's up, guys? I'm here with another video, and um, I want to be talking about this photo where Dwayne Wade's um, son, who now identifies as a female, Zaya, uh, is in a picture kissing a person who appears to be a another boy. Um, but this person that is actually in the picture is actually a was born female, but identify as a male. Okay, so Dwayne Wade's son identifies as female, and whoever this person that Dwayne Wade's uh, biological son is with is with a biological female who identifies as male. Um, and, and I know it's it's probably a little bit confusing because it's just like that. Genetically, they're both opposite genders, but they identify as the opposite gender of what in which they were born right now i'm not here to talk about the whole transgenderism thing i'm not here to try to uh say whether it's right or wrong you guys if you guys have been following my channel you already know where i stand on that so i kind of don't want to get into that but what i do want to talk about that a lot of people may not realize or that some people have they, they, they kind of have um, some concern about this particular photo. And it has not much to do with the whole transgenderism thing, but it has more to do with you have two types. You, you have two pretty young, pr pretty young kids, because I think that if I'm not mistaken, Dwayne Wade's son, who now identifies as his daughter, think he's only about 14 and this other person doesn't look like that they're too much older than him right so this other person may be about around the same age or maybe a little bit older you know but we can clearly see that these are not adults right and you can see this picture with them kissing each other on the lips like you would see two adults two married adults right now a lot of people are not really upset about the transgenderism thing they're more kind of concerned about the age of these two having a photo or being able to publicly um, take a picture like this, right? Now, one of the arguments that has been brought up was that when you do have two kids who are heterosexual, right? Let's just say you have a heterosexual male and a heterosexual female uh, who are the same age if they are kissing or if they were to take a picture like that, um, a lot of people would be asking a question, rightfully so, like, where is the parents? You know, like, why are we promoting uh, sexual, you know, sexual provocative photos like this for young people? It's, it's just really not a good look. But a lot of people, although they have those concerns, they're pretty silent on it because they don't want to be uh, attacked uh, by people by the alphabet people correct because now it's no longer about an issue of the age of these children and what type of message that they're portraying in this particular photo it's now about uh, you're, you're you only got something bad to say because they're transgender right and a lot of people are kind of like, uh, you know, they, they, they're kind of treading on thin ice. They, some people, they, they really don't want to touch it. Some people are, you know, are, are talking about it. And it has nothing to do with the transgenderism thing. Uh, we're talking about secular people. And I'm not really talking about Christian people, but there are secular people who are just saying it has nothing to do with the transgenderism thing. It's just the message that you're trying to put out to younger people. But the bigger issue, especially when it comes to people of faith, like myself right and i know I, i'm probably gonna get in trouble for this whether or not it's today or later on down the line but what we're seeing in my opinion is this final stage of sexual perversion right and to be honest there are people from the lgbtq community who who are not supportive of this they may say eh, 
you know, I, I don't think that this is the right thing. This is the right message that people should be putting out. Because you still have some people, although they are LGBTQ, they do not believe in sexually perverting young children. Okay, I've actually talked to people who are LGBTQ, and that is one of the things that we can agree on. You know, even when it comes to transgenderism and all of that stuff, there are some adult LGBTQ people who just say, uh, yeah, that's, that's going, that's taking it a little too far. This is not an LGBTQ issue, okay? What I believe that's happening is that it has gotten to a point to where LGBTQ is being the, um, it's kind of being the front to allow sexual perversion of children. Not saying that anyone who claims to be LGBTQ is about the sexual perversion of children, but that is being used as a shield. So if anyone has anything to say about kids who are uh, quote unquote transgender or they have some type of gender dysphoria or something like that, and if you have something to say, if you have a an opposing view on that, then it's like, okay, well, then the alphabet people will come after you because they're saying that, well, you're trying to, uh, you know, uh, um, hurt uh, trans kids and all of that stuff. You've seen what happened down there in Florida, uh, you know, with Disney and all of that stuff and a quote unquote, don't say gay bill and all of that. But that's a, that's a different topic. You have people out there with some very, very evil motives. And I believe that what's happening now is that this is beyond beyond LGBTQ. I believe that we're going into this final stage of sexual perversion, which is going to open the door for pedophilia. I I, I totally believe that. You know, I, I think that it started uh, a while ago where people were just having this free love, free sex. You know, it was just, you know, men and women should be able to do whatever they want sexually. Um, and then some people had their reservations about the whole, um, you know, gay and lesbian thing. Then a lot of people kind of just eased up on the gay and lesbian thing. Now it's, you know, you get to love whoever you want to love. Then it became the whole transgenderism thing. You know, people started, people are starting to lighten up. And before people can fully lighten up on that, they've already moved into this realm of now they're trying to promote, uh, you know, children, young adults, uh, and basically in this light that they're trying to promote them as, well, they're just younger people, but they still have sexual urges and desires just like us. Why don't we just lower the age of consent, which they have been, which a certain group of people have been fighting for, I think at least for the past decade that they've been trying to get the age of consent lower down to 13. Some people have even tried to get it lower down to like 10 or 11, you know. Um, but the Bible says that these days will be coming in the last days. You know what I'm saying? Um, sexual perversion. And, and I believe personally, personally, this is what I believe personally, is that we're going to know or we're going to see the return of Christ or that is going to be a sign that Christ's sooner return is when they just open up the floodgates and they start, they really start to pervert children sexually or when they start to exploit children sexually. I believe that that is really, really going to be a sign that Christ is sooner return because Jesus said, especially in the book of Matthew, that anyone who leads one of these little ones to sin, it'll be better for them to tie a millstone around their neck and drown themselves in the ocean. And I believe that once people really, really start to exploit kids, we're going to be in the final minutes of Christ's return. And it, I mean, at the rate that this is going, I don't see us having at most another hundred years on this planet if society continue to keep going the way that it's going you know um and i'm not just talking about just american society i'm talking about all over the world you know and here in the united states is not just us it's other countries 
that are pushing for the law of the age of consent. They're pushing for child marriage and all of that stuff, you know, and I always believe that when you really start to, you know, exploit, exploit children, you know, like through abortion, uh, through sexual perversion and, and grooming and all of that stuff, when a nation starts to allow that, that is going to be the downfall of the nation and that society. And since it's starting to run rampant all over the world, this is something um, I believe that that is going to lead to the swift return of Christ. But anyway, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, do you think that, well, you know, these are just young people. They're experimenting. And there were times where we were young and we experimented. So this is just a new day, a new age of social media. If we had camera phones and stuff back then, um, there are. This would be normalized by now. Uh, we all knew that it was something that we used to do back in the days. Really no big deal. I'm reaching, <laughs> looking too much into this. Or do you happen to believe that there's a lot of exploitation of, of young people and minors nowadays? And it's becoming alarming. Um, but whatever you guys think, you know, leave it in the comment section below. And let's, and let's continue to pray for just this world. You know, pray for our youth. Let's just watch our children be more involved in their lives, you know. But anyway, uh, as always, like this video, rate it, share, subscribe, uh, hit that notifications bell. So therefore, whenever I get ready to go live or drop a video, you guys will be the first to see it. And uh, you guys have a blessed day.